once again I'm back with part two of uh, this color of Esau video and uh, just real quick I'm gonna go back to Genesis 25 25 and uh, just show you a little bit uh, from from uh, certain authoritative sources and I know a lot of Israelites out there don't like to use the commentaries or uh, even uh, other authoritative sources written by the so-called white man uh, especially if they don't if it doesn't agree with with their doctrine but I'm just going to show you a little something because this also shows that these authoritative uh, scholars they know what color the Israelites are all right so uh, the commentary on Genesis 25 from the uh, Kiel and Delich commentary of the Old Testament uh, on Genesis 25 verses 24 through 26 when it talks about Esau it says and she was delivered there were twins the firstborn was reddish ie of a reddish brown color then they quote 1 Samuel 16 verse 12 and 1 Samuel 17 verse 42 when it describes David as ruddy so they know that David was a reddish brown color and we know how a reddish brown man looks it's a mahogany color you know and it's a nice complexion many Israelites have it the Latin brothers have it uh, brothers from all all tribes have it you know because we come in all shades and they say all over like a hairy cloak uh, his, his whole body as if covered with fur with an unusual quantity of hair and they describe a condition called hypertrichosis uh, which is sometimes the case with newborn infants and uh, that is true you can look that up and uh, you'll see a lot of pictures of uh, hairy people hairy babies it, it's a condition that they have but this was describing uh, a sign of uh, Esau's excessive sensual vigor and wildness and we're gonna go back and I'll show you from another authoritative source so we never got the uh, definition of ruddy that they give us here to dig deeper on that definition let's look at the uh, international standard Bible encyclopedia okay from the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia under Ruddy as written in the scriptures notice how they quote 1 Samuel 16 12 1 Samuel 17 42 uh, Genesis 25 25 Song of Solomon 5 10 all of the verses that I just read it reads ruddy is the form taken by the adjective red when used as a term of praise of the human skin and this is its use in the Bible the Hebrew and the Greek words are all usual words for red or to be red notice this the dark skinned Hebrews found great beauty in a clear complexion so they 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 know that the Hebrews were people of color then they admit that they were dark-skinned Hebrews okay so so right here the authoritative sources agree with the truth and so the, these are books that that are valid to be used on this topic alright let's get back to uh, now let's continue on Zechariah chapter 1 verse 8 it reads, I saw by night, and behold, a man riding upon a red horse. A red horse. That's word 122. You know, we covered that. Adam, rosy, red, ruddy. And we can see how a red horse looks. He's not red. He's not blood red, and he doesn't look white. And you can't see the red through his skin. You're going you're gonna to find out that all these pictures that, that, of red that's described in scripture, they all look the same. From a red man onto a, a, a red horse, a red heifer. Now here's something else that's interesting. Notice here where it says, where there are red horses, then it says speckled and white. Now let's look up the word speckled. This here is the word, Hebrew word, saw cook. Saw Rook, rather, were 82, 8320, 
and it says bright red as piercing to the sight. That is bay, a bay color. Brown Driver and Briggs, it gives us sorrel, reddish, tawny, bay. Now if we look up bay, let's look it up in Webster's. It says red or reddish inclining to a chestnut color applied to the color of horses. Now we know chestnuts are not bright red and they're definitely that all right we know what color chestnuts are they're a brownish color. The shades of this color are called light bay, dark bay, dappled bay, gilded bay, chestnut bay. In popular language in England all horses are called brown. Now you can see the color of, a, of different shades of a bay horse. They give you red, but the, the shades of the bay horse are actually different shades of brown, from light to a dark brown. So we can see w w what's going on with the word red. Not once does, does it talk about uh, anyone being white. All right, let's finish this up. Genesis 25, verse 30. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee with that same red pottage for I am faint therefore his name was called Edom alright the word Edom in Strong's Edom from 122 which comes from 119 red alright it's related to the word Adam that it, and his name was called Edom because he ate the red pottage do you know what the red pottage is that he ate? In Genesis 25, 34, that red pottage, then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Now the pottage is soup. You should know that already. It's a boiled soup. But he ate a pottage of lentils. Lentils, is, is it's a red bean. You've heard of lentil soup, and many of you are gonna, you know, I hear hear them out there. They're saying, uh, "You so-called white man, you are Esau because you ate you you like your meat red or raw." They're, you're greatly mistaken, brothers. Greatly, you're, you're mistaken, real big. And I know somebody will come back and argue and say, "What about Hebrews chapter 12?" Well, let's go there. That way, we don't have to hear that. Hebrews chapter 12, and I hear this quoted a lot. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Ooh. All right, and it's true. The so-called white man does like his meat rare. But see, Esau, he didn't eat meat. He didn't, he didn't sell out for meat. Just look the word up. More people need to look up the word instead of listening and repeating the words of others. These other people are leading you astray. The strong definitions for that word that's translated meat in the King James Bible. Let's put it up here. It's a Greek word, brosis. It comes from 977. Abstractly, eating, literally or figuratively, by extension, concretely, food. Literally or figuratively. All right, so he sold out for some food. That's what they're telling you right there. Now, you can see here it's been translated as meat, and the same word has been translated as food and eating in other parts of the King James Bible, but that's not the meaning of that word. It doesn't mean meat. It means food. So, no, the, uh, Esau did not sell out for a piece of raw meat or rare meat. That just doesn't fit. It contradicts the scriptures. The scriptures say he sold out for lentil soup. All right, so we need to study and get this right before we go out in the streets um, preaching and carrying on. Let's lock this down and get it right. And I'm going to continue on. The, the, my next video, I'm going to cover uh, the blessings that were given to Esau from Isaac and also the blessings that were, were given to uh, Yaakov. We're going to get to the truth of that, because many brothers have that broken down all the way wrong, and I will cover that. But for now, I'm going to leave you with this. Like I said, any, any arguments or debates on this topic on color, I welcome it. 
Uh, you know, I don't welcome any nonsense. Just let's just stay technical with this in the spirit of truth. With that, I'll say shalom.